Hello everyone. In the previous video, we have created two web services. The first one was to implement the confirmation according to the user mobile, and the second one uh, used for calculate the total of the pill according to the bill number. Now, how can we implement all those in our Android app? At first, of course, we need to change the local host as usual to our IP address 92.168.8.100. Okay. Now, then we need to copy this line. Let's go to our app. To in the order ACT now, here we can add another if if item dot item id equal r dot id dot item confirm which means if you select the item confirm from the action bar menu in this case we need something like var at first url equal okay the hyperlink or the url of the web service now change the mobile number to our class user info dot mobile which is the mobile number of the user who has logged into our system now we need something like the following code so we can copy this code and paste it here okay so it is ready but at first if this web service has been implemented we should go to another activity to show the total for the user so in this case we need to add another activity okay so in the first folder inside java folder right click new activity empty activity let's call it for example total act total activity okay let's click on finish okay let's go back to our order act now we are going to change the intent to this activity which is total act so if everything is okay and this order has been confirmed what will be happen is all the data will be removed from the temporary order and passed in the build table and then we will redirect the user to this new activity which is the activity total in the total activity we are going to display the total of the bill according to the second web service which is called get total so here also we need to change the ip address to this one okay anyway now let's go back to our android let's go to this one which is the total activity we are going to draw text view inside it yes something like this okay okay i'm going to call this one total mm, tv total text view for example also i am going to enlarge the text size let's make it for example 20 yes i think 20 or 24 yeah okay so in this text view we are going to display the total of the bill we are going to display the total of the bill now let's go to the kotlin file of the total and here from the order act we can copy this one okay so you can copy this one and then paste it here okay so it is pasted here now after we paste it here this web service 
here need the pill number so at first let's change the URL of this web service and we are going to change the pill number but the main question from where we can get this pill number but before we get the pill number let's change the code instead of intent just write something like total tv dot text equal response which mean display the response inside the total text view now how can we know the pill number if we go back okay to our web service here in this web service we have created or we have generate the pill number according to the maximum number in this case if i make some changes here if we go to c 164 www and sales web yes this one which is the confirm order and i try to open it using not bad no problem here okay so in this one i am going to add some statement if you remember in the previous videos i have returned this one max pin number as pno and store it here in row called row max okay in this row i add it here row max for p number so in this case what we are going to do is the following copy and we can add a new line to our web service here for example yes something here let's say we are going to print out echo the pill number all what i have do i need to return out the last pill number so if i go back to our browser and try to implement or to execute this file as you see here i got the number four in this case we should send the pill number from our activity which is the order act to the other activity which is the total act so how can we do that just write something like i dot boot extra let's call it for example pno comma response which means take the response from this web service and send it to the other activity in a variable called bno now in the total act instead of number one i'm going to write something like plus intent dot get string extra yeah this one b n o string extra b n o let's try the example now okay anyway here is the mobile number zero seven eight eight zero three zero six zero zero the password one two three four five six let's click on login let's select for example pizza add this pizza the quantity required two for example add now let's return back to our menu again let's add salad add greek salad one for example add yeah now how can we confirm this temporary order let's click here and click confirm yeah as you see here this is the total of the pill and all those data has been added to the pill table let's see localhost let's go to php my admin now click on go here let's go to our database which is sales web on the bill yeah new bill has been added which is five with 
date and time with the mobile number. Let's go to the bill detail. Also, the bill number five has been added with some details. So in this video, we have called two web services, one for confirm the order and another one to calculate the total. Also, we have tried to implement it in Android and send the data to our database in PHP. See you next video.